Today we're talking about pH. So our goal here is to relate pH to the concentration of protons and perform some very, very simple pH calculations. Okay, so when you're thinking pH, you're probably thinking pH scale. Draw that in a color other than black because it's not going to show up. And that goes from 1 to 14 with the middle being 7 and neutral being considered anywhere between 6 to 8. And that's where most of your body systems are at. Your stomach acid is of course lower and there's parts of your intestines that are a little bit higher. But most of your body systems and most microorganisms exist around neutral pH. Okay, and so in the low end, this is considered acidic, really less than 6, considerably less than 6. And on the high end, this is considered basic. Okay, but really, where did these numbers come from? Why 14? What is up with 7? What the heck is 1? What's going on with there? And so what you need to remember is that anytime you see a P, what that means, so in terms of pH, the P really means negative log. And then for the H, that implies the concentration of protons in the solution. So because this is negative, it's really kind of difficult to think about. And because this is log, remember it's base 10. So what that really means is that the difference between pH 1 and pH 2 is a tenfold change in the concentration of protons. So pH 2 has 10 times as many, or sorry, 10 times as few protons as pH 1, right? Because the negative, you gotta, you gotta remember the negative, Fiona. Get with it, okay. So this 10 is a tenfold change for each one change in number here. So between 1 and 14, whoo, that is huge. Okay, so that's what this 10 means right here. So we talked about that. And the negative means that if you have more of these protons, it means a lower pH. So this is the most protons. This is the least protons. And so for our Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid, something that releases a lot of protons is going to make that solution really, really acidic. Whereas if it's picking up protons from the solution, it's going to be considered a base. It's going to make that solution basic because it's absorbing the protons. It's removing them from the solution. Okay, and you might be looking at this and thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to calculate anything with this? Well, it's really quite easy. So I'm going to make you a little chart of pH and concentration of H plus in molar. So if we have a pH of zero, which is, I guess, at least theoretically possible, the concentration of H plus is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative zero. So that negative came from right here. And this 10 comes from there, and the 0 would be the concentration of H+. plus. So that's where the, all those pieces come from. So 10 to the negative 0 gives us a 0 of pH. Okay, that's interesting. How about a pH of 1? Well, we get 1 times 10 to the negative 1. Hmm, that's interesting. This number is there. This number is there. Okay, pH of 2, 1 times 10 to the negative 2. Huh, 3, 1 times 10 to the negative 3. And I'm hoping that you can see the pattern in these four examples. That the pH is really, if you take the negative log of this number right here, it's just the exponent. It's just the exponent. So that's really what this means, and that's how this relates to this. And if you compare these two numbers, this one is 10 times more than this one because the decimal keeps moving down and down and down. These numbers are getting smaller and smaller and smaller as we're heading that direction on the pH scale. So I hope you find that helpful.